it is emotions that make us human. Without them, we're just machines, robots. So understanding that emotions are there for a reason, all of them, um, not judging them as uh, negative or bad, more like, okay, some emotions feel good, some emotions feel bad, but they all have their place in time. Everything that happens to you is neutral until you give it meaning. And the meaning that you give it will determine how you experience this particular event, what you feel, and the quality of that experience, and therefore the quality of your life. So if you come from the belief and understanding that everything that happens to you is for a reason and for the better, which is the belief I live by, then even if something happens that is extremely unpleasant, for example, you get robbed, uh, you get sick when you're supposed to travel somewhere, or um, you know something that is really takes you out of your um, direction, then you stop and say, okay, instead of going down the rabbit hole and winding yourself up as to why these things happen to you, uh, why am I so unlucky, I'm such a loser, you know, this, this is the negative uh, process that really drags you down. But when you take a particular situation and you make it, the, you, know, you make it as it's something actually that's good for you, this is the control I'm talking about. This is the mastering of emotions. It's when you choose how you're going to interpret something and how you're going to look at it, what you're going to believe and what you're going to do with that, how you're going to make the most of it. There's so many examples out there of people who've been through incredibly traumatic experiences and just took it and made something incredible with their lives, using it as a stepping stone instead of something that you know, ruined them. And that's what uh, real mastery is about.